Okay, in this second video we're going to take a look at um, a geometric series that has to be uh, adjusted so we can fit it into our goal uh, which we have over here. So let's see what we can do to clean this up a little bit. Uh, the first, first problem we're going to encounter is how to handle this this 3N up here. Um, but we're going to notice a couple of things here. Just using the law of exponents, we have negative 4 to the third power raised to the nth power, right? And that's the same thing. All we did was uh, sort of rearrange that multiplier there. And we have 5 to the n minus 1 on the bottom, which doesn't look like it needs to be adjusted just right yet. <clears throat> um, well, before we go any further, we have negative 4 to the third power, which is a negative 64, right? So that would be <clears throat> to the nth power like that. And we have 5 n minus 1. Okay, so... <clears throat> Our next problem that we encounter is that this is n equals 0, and we certainly need it to be n equals 1, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, basically add 1. We're going to add 1 right here. So when we add 1, we have to subtract 1 to everything else that's up over here. So we have negative 64 to the n minus one, which is what we want, right? We added one, we subtracted one. But over here we have five to the n minus one, and we have to subtract one to that as well, right? So uh, the value on the bottom is now n minus two. Uh, but that's okay, because <clears throat> it's still in the correct form, right? We have n minus 1. Let me circle this in red. And we have n minus 1. Okay, so now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to simply make this observation here that we have a negative 64 to the n minus 1. And over here we have 5 n minus 1 and because that's a negative exponent, it really belongs in the top, right? So it'd be 5 to the first power multiplied, right? <clears throat> okay. Um, so now, what is our ratio? Our ratio is a negative 64 fifths to the n minus 1 times our 5. And we now have our index matched up, which would be n equals 1 to infinity. Okay, so now that we have this in the proper form, uh, our index is n equals 1, and our geometric uh, exponent is n minus 1, so it matches up with what we want, but we notice that our ratio is a negative 64 fifths, and the absolute value of that is greater than 1. So this thing does not converge to a sum, it diverges. Okay, so we did need to rewrite this to verify it, but uh, this is the case.